everyone, this is Jolie Boucher, and today we're gonna learn how to make a Mad Lib style activity using Google Sheets. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is type out your story in a Google Doc and highlight the words that you would like students to replace. Then you're gonna open up Google Sheets and you'll add a header and use the paint bucket to make it look appealing. And for each word you want a student to replace, you're gonna type in the part of speech or the descriptor. So let's say the first word in your story that you'd like them to replace is a proper noun. You'll type that in and you'll also add a column where students can add their answers. So you'll do that for every word that you would like students to replace and also allow them to have a location to answer the question. To erase all of these extra cells along the sides, you're just gonna click on the column. And if you right click, you can choose hide column. And that's why you don't see any cells over here. So once that is finished, you're gonna create a new tab. And this is where the story is going to magically appear. So you're gonna highlight a bunch of cells. And if you go up to format and select merge cells and merge them all, you'll get a nice large space where the story can appear. And you can change the font, you can change the text size, whatever you'd like. So now here is how you make the story appear. You're gonna type in a formula. And formulas always start with an equal sign. And for every word that you want to appear in the story, you're gonna type in the name of the sheet. So the name of my sheet is Mad Lib, and an exclamation point and the name of the cell where the answer will appear. So here is where we wanted that proper noun to appear. So if I go back and I type in a proper noun, you're gonna see that that will magically now appear in my story. So there you go. So everywhere that Mad Lib exclamation point B4 appears, the proper noun will appear. And when students are done, the entire story will be filled with all the words that they entered. So the exact phrase you need right here is a quote, space, and, space, the name of the sheet where students answered, an exclamation point, the name of the cell where the answer is for that word, a space, an and symbol, a space, and a quotation mark. So you can see the pattern. It's the exact same thing. And in between, you just type in your story. So then when you're done and you press enter, the words will just continue to appear. So let's add some more words. And as you can see, when they're done and you go back in, the words are all starting to appear. So that's how you make a Mad Lib style activity for students using Google Sheets. And it's a lot of fun and students really enjoy it. Take care.